Windshaper 1000 here uh, with another Walk Wednesday, right? Yeah. She's trying not to laugh because I had a hell of a time starting this one for some reason. Mm -hmm. But we're going to be doing something different, aren't we, Monk? Yeah. What are we making? Soup. We're making soup in the wok. We're making chicken noodle soup in the wok. That's not homemade noodles because we are keeping... You want to hand me one of those? We are keeping it kind of with the theme. Right. So we are using the lo mein wide noodles. Mm -hmm. And so we're just going to kind of make uh, chicken noodle soup only we're going to do it in a wok. So stick around. It should be fun. Right, Monk? Yep. Okay. Okay guys, we're going to start with our ingredients here. We've got two of these chicken bouillon cubes. We've got this stuff. This is really good. <coughs> Excuse me. This is really good, guys. Trust me. Uh, cheap, too. What was it, a dollar something? Yeah, like a dollar ninety-four. Yeah, we'll just say two bucks. But yeah, that's and there's a lot in there. Uh four ounces doesn't sound like much but it's a lot more than six of those we're going to be putting these in the soup and we're going to be stir frying with these because we are going to stir fry the vegetables a little bit which we have our celery we have um one huge onion here we have uh three carrots these are just diced up with a dicer chopper thing and there's a couple onions in there that's okay i have about three-fourths of a bulb of garlic in here so I'm not sure how many cloves I used but they were all pretty decent size and then I don't know I had monkey get me these cans of chicken I've got eight of them here um, she said that she had thighs and I wasn't thinking I could have just boiled the thighs down and used the chicken just deboned them and and done it that way I don't know why I wasn't thinking that so anyway, my bad. I'll add a little bit of this into the stir fry. I got a couple of these. Well, about one and a half, I think, is all we're going to need. This is a half of one here. So that's chicken broth. All right, so I'm going to get you over here. And I think what we're going to do is we don't have to stir fry these long because they're going to cook a while in, in the wok. They're going to boil down. We're going to reduce it down almost into a stew. And then we'll add some more liquids. Um, so I'm going to start with the carrots. I'll throw the carrots in there. And then we'll go with the onions and then the celery. And then we'll start making some broth and cooking the noodles. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and add our carrots in. Nice little sizzle there. Got my sous chef over there sitting on the couch. I'm going to let these get heated up for a minute as they are seasoning. Seasoning? As they're. <laughs> I don't know. Monkeys on the couch laughing. Huh? Okay, so now what I'm going to do, this is the open one I got, love the smell of this stuff, just going to put a little bit in here, because remember this is all going to, you know, cook as it, as we cook it all together, if that makes sense, you know what I mean, right, and they'll soften up, so what we're, we're doing, we're just kind of, let me turn the heat up a little bit, and I'm on a number eight, put a little bit more of this in here, then I'm going to take, that was probably maybe a tablespoon all together. I'm going to take about, about a teaspoon of that and add it in there. Like I said, this guy's, I'm not telling you exact I'm saying about because, you know, that's what a recipe is about, you know. I mean, this is what you go by and then, you know, then you go from there because some people don't like a lot of flavoring some people like more some people don't like carrots they won't add any but you know once you once you make it and you got an idea of how to make it 
then you just run with it. Just go and have fun. It's your creation now. Right, Mama? Yeah. All right, here we go. We're getting in there now. It's just, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but... <coughs> Excuse me. It's starting to turn a little yellow there. See, that's because of this stuff that we put in there. The chicken broth flavoring. Alright, let's go up about a nine. Alright, I'm going to cook these for about three minutes. And then we'll add our celery in and then we'll go on. Okay, it's been about three minutes. Exactly three minutes because I timed it. I'm going to put a couple more tablespoons of this in here. Stir it up a little bit and then we're going to put this up to the side. Let that broth drain down. Now we're going to add our celery. I used a whole stalk of celery but it was a small stalk. So, comes out probably a cup and a half, maybe two cups. Again, it's up to you guys what you want, how much and how little you want something. I got the fan on, so sorry about that. Um, we're gonna add about another teaspoon of this because remember guys, we're not straining any of this. So this is gonna be broth for our soup. So, as you can see, it does soak it up pretty well. Some of it, of course, evaporates. Uh, you can actually use beef broth if you're going to be using some beef. I always do the carrots first because they're always the, the hardest vegetable. So it takes a little more to for them to cook, a little longer for them to cook. But if you're just making soup regularly, you know, you can just add it all together but still sometimes like your onions may get a little soggy so always try to keep everything about the same so that way when it cooks it all cooks the same so we got this going now now I'm going to add oh you know some of my garlic in here now so it'll get infused with the vegetables I'm going to add about half of that again you don't have to use garlic we eat a lot of garlic, it's good for the heart. And I love the flavor of it, I love the smell of it. Keeping with some, uh, keeping with the tradition here, we're gonna add a little bit of this. Not a lot because it is want to be chicken soup so that should be enough I put about a tablespoon in there <coughs> I might add more you don't have to add it all if you don't want you can use soy sauce or what's that that's keeping them. that's yeah that's soy sauce you can use uh what's that stuff we made homemade no teriyaki yeah you can use Worcestershire sauce though yeah And you can throw the vegetables all over the stove and counter if you want. I advise against it, but monkeys over there laughing. She thinks it's funny when I do stupid stuff like that. And I'm already smelling. I am smelling the uh, the celery, the carrots, and the chicken flavor in there already. We we'll add. We we'll just you know a couple of tablespoons at a time now we're going to add this in that's our onion like I said it's I used we had a half of a large onion and then we had a large onion in there and I used half of that so I'm going to say about a, a large onion now we're going to add about another teaspoon of this stuff might have been a little bit more but now I'm going to let this cook. I may have to add, you know, <coughs> a tablespoon at a time just to keep it from sticking. Because this is all going to be going in here eventually. 
our noodles will be last because these noodles don't take that long so what we'll do is we'll probably reduce this by half add a little bit more uh, liquid you can use water or whatever I'll be using this stuff and then um, and then we'll cook the noodles because them noodles only take like four minutes to cook so let me cook this up for about another three minutes and then we're going to add our our chicken in and we're going to do the same thing we're going to let it cook for you know three or four minutes and then we'll add our broth we'll bring it to a boil and then we're going to let it simmer but right now let's go ahead and cook this up okay it's been about another three minutes now i'm going to add some seasoning i'm going to start off with some fresh ground black peppercorn however much or little you like some people don't like pepper at all so i'm going to add about oh let's give it a couple teaspoons just guessing like i said guys it's not you know rocket science you, and you can always add it later as you taste taste it as you go as it's cooking if it needs a little bit of this or less of that you know it's not a big deal I'm gonna add about another tablespoon of that I'm gonna add some lemon pepper here some Lowry's now you're not gonna see me adding any salt or seasoned salt because of uh, you know that broth is salty those um, uh, bouillon cubes are salty add a little bit of termac about a half a teaspoon we're going to go with uh, cayenne pepper and add about a teaspoon of that just a little bit of a kick tiny bit of paprika just for some color look at the colors in that already guys look at that you can see all the different colors hopefully I know it's steaming a lot but look at that that's looking good uh, I know it's chicken noodle soup and this is kind of the general thing but you can add some squash or whatever zucchini can't you mama we'll add a little bit about another two tablespoons of that add about another teaspoon of this that might have been a teaspoon and a half but you get the idea it doesn't matter really as long as you don't use like half a jar okay now what we want to do is I drain these off but not like completely completely so we're going to add eight it says four to five ounce well you would think it'd be one or the other right this is Hormel chicken breast uh, that one says five ounces so like I said I just what I did when I opened it um, I just held the lid on there and just you know drained it out there's some left in there but that's okay because you want a little bit because it'll give it some flavor you know so I was going to put these in a in a bowl too but I thought well I wanted to see what we was using so I didn't forget to mention what kind of chicken we were using so all right now we're going to give this a quick stir nice you know I may add another can or two of this chicken I think I will once we get everything going probably I'll add two cans okay now we're going to add the rest of our garlic in there very nice we'll give it a couple more tablespoons of that the, our chicken bra and I am going to cook this for about another three minutes and I'm going to stir it a little bit, not much. And then I'll kick it back on. We'll add the broth until it's almost full. <coughs> we'll add our bouillon cubes. 
and then we'll uh, let's give them some more. Of and like I said, we'll reduce it down by half, so I'm not going to be covering this and cooking it at all. So. Okay, so I didn't time it, but it's been about three minutes, maybe four. I did put two more cans of chicken in there. Now I'm going to dump the rest of this in here. <laughs> the monkey's wanting to taste it. She tasted the little piece of chicken, but I told her it wasn't. It hadn't had time to soak up the flavor yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to take take two of those. And I'm going to put about another two teaspoons of this in there. And this, these cubes will melt up real nice. Like I said, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to fill this up about three-fourths full. Let's go ahead and bring it to a boil. And then I'll reduce the heat. So it's probably going to take this whole one, which is fine. I got another one in there if we need it. This is just to get you started. Uh, I make a lot too. This is more than enough for two people because we like leftovers. Well, I like leftovers. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and bring this to a boil. And once it starts boiling, I'll kick you back on. And then uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do next after that because we still have to add our noodles but I want these the vegetables <coughs> to cook some first because them noodles doesn't take long they only take like four minutes so I don't want them getting real soggy as you can see it's already starting to come to a boil so hang tight guys okay as you can see we've got it kind of between a rapid boil and a rolling boil um, the reason why I don't want to put a lid on it is because I do want this to reduce down so I can probably keep it right there because this you know these electric ranges don't get get as hot see there it's kind of rolling right in there is kind of a rapid but as you can see over here it's more of a rolling boil so I may have to just uh, keep it on high it depends you know on your on your stove and altitudes and all that okay so uh, monkey tried it. How is it so far, Monk? Very good. That's good. So I'm going to reduce this down a little bit, and then we're going to add our noodles. And about four minutes after that, they'll it should be ready. So because the uh, carrots are done, right? Mm, yeah. Okay, so we're just going to reduce this down a little bit, but I don't want to go too much because I said about half, but that's not right. It just all depends how many noodles you're going to use. If you're using homemade noodles, it soaks up more because your noodles will soak up a lot of that broth. So, yeah, there we go. There's a good boil. So I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. I'm going to give it about 15 minutes. And then we're going to add our noodles. Then we'll go from... <laughs> monkey's clapping. Then we'll go from there. So hang tight, guys. Okay, we're back. Now, I'm going to add the noodles. We've got two packs here. I'm not going to break them up. I'm just going to put them in here. It should only take, what? should only take four or five minutes here to cook these noodles. I did add some... Cornstarch. I can't even remember that. I don't know. I did add about four tablespoons of cornstarch just to thicken it up a little bit. And these noodles will soak up some, so I may add some more... Um, broth in there this all depends it's also up to you you don't even have to add the noodles if you don't want it you can just have chicken soup instead of chicken noodle soup all right so I'm gonna set a timer on these I'm gonna let them cook for about five minutes if it takes longer I'll let you know but it shouldn't okay guys it ended up taking a lot longer because I had some noodles stuck together so I had to keep cooking them to get them to come apart but there's still some there, but they'll come apart here in a minute once we dish this out. So, you know, I'm taking about 10 minutes, I think, wasn't it? Something like that. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so we're gonna get these, get this in a bowl, and we're gonna try it and let you know if it's any good or not. I had some st sticking on the bottom. Monkey looked at it like, oh my god. <laughs> so well, that's all right. We just won't scrape the bottom because I had to wait so long. But yeah, that looks pretty good. It is kind of like a stew, but like a soupy stew. Well, everybody's different. Yeah. Some people like a thicker soup, and some like. Oh, it I do. More I don't soupy. like it to where you're just drinking it, you know. Right. Okay, we're going to get some of this in a bowl. We'll be back with you. Okay, guys. So this is our chicken noodle soup. Like I said, it's almost like a stew, but um, we're about ready to give this a try. Um, I also did have to put the lid on for a couple minutes of that time. What, about five minutes? Yeah. I did put the lid on. They're al dente right now, but if you don't let them stick together, that was my fault. I just kind of dumped them in. I should have separated them and then, but, you know, it happens. So, you know, right? Yeah. So what we're going to do now is we're going to give this a shot. Right, Monk? Mm hmm So I didn't do any work on the John Deere today because, um, well, it did start raining this afternoon, and it's, it rained, well, it's raining right now, but, um, kind of hurt my back the past two days. I think what did it was the, when I was moving them concrete things. Oh, yeah, and that shed. Yeah, well, it was bags bags of quickrete, and they had hardened over the years, so there was this 80 pounds of concrete. <laughs> so, I'm not supposed to lift more than five pounds, but I didn't want her doing it, so, you know, mm. can't ask her to do that. Very hot, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we do that stuff all the time. My noodle fell. Your noodle fell. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. Dinky donkey. Dinky donkey. Mm. Very good. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's very good. Yeah. I think you guys will really, really enjoy this. Mm hmm Little recipe. You don't have to do it in a walk. I just thought we'll do something different. I never made soup in a walk, so <laughs> why not? Yeah, you can taste everything. You can taste the garlic, the onion, everything is flavorful in here. Now what you can also do is like the, some people will add their um, celery at the end. Mm -hmm. So it's a little more crunchy and stuff. And that's fine and it looks great. However you want to do it, I like it both ways. So I think it turned out good, what do you think? Monk? Yep, very good, What's lots your of flavor. Or? I don't know. Her fork is like this. <laughs> I can't see it. Raise it up. <laughs> Mine's like regular. But make sure mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if your noodles don't stick together, I think about five minutes would be fine on them. Yeah. See, my, my fork's kind of, hers is like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to enjoy our supper. It's a late mm -hmm. supper, about 8.30. Yeah. But she went to go see her mom. Yeah. Her mom did get out of the hospital. She's in rehab now, and she's doing better. Yeah. Still got some issues, but she may be in there a couple more weeks, huh? Mm -hmm. She could be up there three months. Not sure yet, though. Yeah, it depends on you know how well she does and everything. So. Yeah. But anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching. This has been Chef Shea Bear on Walk Wednesday. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go so uh, Monkey can eat her meal and enjoy herself and we'll see you guys in the next one. Monkey, anything you want to add? No, very good though. Thanks very for good. the help, Monkey. You're welcome. She's kind of cleaning up and stuff and I turned around and the broth was gone. I was like, where's the broth? I put it in the fridge. She <coughs> <laughs> said, you done with it? And I said, well, I guess I am. <laughs> oh, well. So anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. So... Mm. Been fun. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye, guys, and take care. Bye. Hey, Shea Bear, Monkey 1000 here. Today, really? We're, what?
I'm recording. And you know what you said. What I always say. No. Now I gotta do it over. Yeah, because you messed it up anyway. I'm gonna roll it back. Okay, roll yeah. it back. Making sure. Hey everyone, Michael 1000 here. Ready? Shaver's gonna. What the hell? You ready? Yep. Okay, say it right. I thought you were doing it. I thought you were starting this one. Because I keep screwing up. What am I going to say? It's not my channel. 